All right. It is Saturday, August 3rd, 2019 at 5.56 p.m. Let's take a look at some headlines. All right. Several people are dead after a shooting in El Paso, Texas, officials said. Several people have been killed in a shooting in El Paso, Texas. The mayor's chief of staff says at least 22 people have been injured. Authorities respond. One suspect is in custody. El Paso police says businesses in the area are locked down and are in place as far as three miles of this yellow vista mall where the shooting reportedly took place so i'm having different um articles saying that it was 18 people another article saying that the shooting had uh 19 people so it's a little bit conflicting this one says el paso mall shooting at least 19 people dead 40 injured Suspect in custody, police say. We're praying for the victims of the community and our associates as well as the first responders, Walmart said in the statement on Twitter. At least 90 people are dead and 40 injured after a shooting Saturday near a shopping mall in El Paso, Texas, law enforcement officials said. One suspect, a 21-year-old man from the Dallas area, is in custody and law enforcement sources say. Multiple law enforcement sources say the police have identified the suspect as Patrick Cruises, C-R-U-S-I-U-S. -S. A second person was also taken into custody by authorities, but it is not immediately known for what role, if any, the person played in the shooting. Sources familiar with the investigation told NBC News. What we know so far, the shooting took place in a Walmart and around the nearby Cielo Vista Mall in El Paso. Police received their first calls of the incident slightly past 10 a.m. local time. At least 19 people were killed and 40 injured. One male suspect is in custody, along with a second person whose suspect in the role in the shooting was not immediately known. El Paso police said the initial call about the incident came at about 10 a.m. local time, but about 1 p.m. police there was no imminent threat at that point. Earlier in several tweets, police urged poli people to stay away from the area near the Sierra Vista Mall due to an active shooter. So prayers go out to all those victims and the families of the injured. All right, next, three dead in cliff collapse at Southern California Beach. The beaches north of San Diego are known for their unstable bluffs. Three people were killed and at least one was injured when a coastal bluff collapsed on Friday along a popular beach north of San Diego, officials said. A woman was declared dead at the scene of the afternoon collapse. Two of four people were taken to hospitals, were initially in critical condition but later died, officials said. It has been now confirmed that two of the three victims that were transported to local area hospitals earlier have succumbed to their injuries. A statement from the city reads, The collapse near Grandview Beach where warning signs are posted about the unstable bluffs was blamed on a national natural erosion, according to the NBC San Diego. An eyewitness to the aftermath, Jackie Benedict, told the station that onlookers immediately tried to free the victims before first responders arrived to find a group of beachgoers under the debris. So, city officials said the immediate area of the collapse was close to beachgoers and warned people to stay clear of the bluffs outside the closure zone. So, if you're going to the Southern California beach near San Diego, please be aware of unstable bluffs. All right. Next, Sarah Rose Kennedy Hill found dead at her family's Cape Cod compound battled depression. The so-called Kennedy curse touches another generation with the death of 22-year-old Sarah Rose Kennedy Hill, which is RFK's granddaughter found dead at the family compound. The depression was the unwanted friend of Robert F. Kennedy's granddaughter, whose death death of the family's stor storied Cape Cod compound was being investigated Friday by police. So Reese Kennedy Hill, 22, a junior of Boston College, wrote frankly about her struggle with mental illness in a 2016 essay for the student newspaper at the Massachusetts prep school she had previously attended. Hill revealed that the deep sadness 
that felt like a heavy boulder on my chest she felt in the middle school had returned two weeks before her junior year at Deerfield Academy after someone I knew and loved broke serious sexual boundaries with me. I did the worst thing a victim can do and I pretended it hadn't happened, she wrote in the Deerfield Scroll. This has become too much and I attempt to take my own life. This is really sad to hear about a member of the um, Kennedy family. May she rest in peace. Prayers out for her family having to deal with this. It's so sad. Alright, next. Navy identifies a pilot killed in Death Valley Super Hornet crash. The Navy has identified the pilot who was killed on, on a Wednesday crash in Death Valley National Park, California. Lieutenant Charles Walker, 33. And there's a picture of him on his jet. Lieutenant Charles Walker, 33, died when his FA-18E Super Hornet crashed about 40 miles north of Naval Air's Weapon Station in China Lake, California. He was in a training mission over a canyon at the National Park when the crash occurred. Walker was assigned to the vigilantes of Strike Fighter Squadron VFA-151 based on Naval Air Station Lemoore, California. The NAS Lemoore Aviation family is grieving the loss of one of our own, Captain James Bate, commander of Strike Fighter Wing Pacific said in a statement. Lieutenant Walker was an incredible naval aviator, husband and son. He was an integral member of the Vigilante family and his absence will be keenly felt on this flight line. Our aviators understand the risk associated with the profession and they knowingly accept it in service of our nation. The untimely loss of our fellow aviator and shipmate paints us all. Our heartfelt condolences go out to his family and friends. So sad to lose an aviator we have navy in our family so we feel we felt that okay guys hit like and subscribe for more videos and news updates and god bless you guys